Hi everyone, it's Kelly Sparta again. I uh, wanted to uh, answer a couple of questions from listeners and this is going to be the easiest format to do that in, so I'm going to do that as minis. Uh, so the first question comes from, and we're looking over here, Alexander Bangren, Bangren something. I'm, I'm sure I'm mutilating, mutilating that. I apologize, Alexander. Uh, he is from Norway. He says, greetings from Norway, Kelly. For some reason, I haven't been able to stop listening to Spirit Sherpa. I've experienced some strange things that, that I've kind of shoved under the carpet. But by listening to you, I've been able to draw parallels to my own experiences. And now I'm very thoughtful. I'm sure you get loads of questions, so I understand that you might not be able to answer us all. I do try to answer every single person, Alexander. It may take me a while. I know I'm getting, I'm, I'm late to the party on this one, but I will get to all of the questions. Uh, it says, since childhood, I remember astral projecting not on purpose. In one of the earliest episodes from childhood, I remember waking, hearing an intense vibration like a subwoofer. As I walk out of bed, I'm hit with a violent jolt or shock. And all of a sudden, I'm laying back in my bed wondering what just happened. I've had many such episodes, and they seem to appear more often after periods of intense stress. The last time it happened, I woke in my bed, but my body was paralyzed. I tried to scream, but I couldn't make a sound. Then I started hearing the subwoofer sound again, and my cheeks also seemed to vibrate. I don't know why I did it, but I started to relax until all my muscles were tingling. It just felt right. All of a sudden I'm floating towards the roof and as I'm about to turn towards my body, I'm suddenly jolted or shocked and I'm back in my body. I'm not intentionally trying to do this, but it just happens. Listening to the astral projection episode, you said that one shouldn't do this because of the dangers, but I don't know how to stop it when it happens. Thank you for being you and thank you for being the catalyst to a deeper understanding. I wish the best, Alex. All right, Alex, so there's a lot to unpack here. And so I, I want to start with uh, the paralyzation, you know, the, the experience of being paralyzed, right? Uh, our bodies produce, I think it's a hormone, don't quote me on that, but we are, we paralyze ourselves when we dream so that we don't act out our dreams. And so when you wake up and you can't move, oftentimes people will report these as sort of the alien abduction things that happen because uh, they, they feel like they're paralyzed and they're, they're, they panic. It is not an alien paralyzing you. It is your own body doing that. And uh, it often will keep you from being able to scream or move or anything else. And that's just because your body still thinks it's asleep and dreaming and therefore it's not going to let you move because it's trying to keep you safe. Okay, so that's that. Now the you leave your body and you get jolted or shocked back into your body, that is also a defense mechanism, okay? Uh, we as children will often astrally project in our dreams and the reason is that we're used to being out of our bodies, right? And so inherently we just go, oh yeah, we can wander off now because we're out and about. Uh, sometimes it's that your spirit is like, ooh, I want to visit home. And sometimes it's just, you know, it forgets that it's supposed to stay in its body. And typically you grow out of it, but uh, it sounds like you're still having this issue. And, uh, but it sounds like your body is kicking in and pulling you back in when you, when you jump out. So uh, the one thing I would say to you is crucially important is that you get a ward or a protection put up on your house uh, just so that there's nothing in the room with you when this happens. Uh, and then, you know, since you're not going anywhere, it's not a big deal. But uh, the, when we're talking about the, the intense vibration like a subwoofer, okay, that's actually your energetic field changing and the subwoofer is you your energy tuning into um hmm, how do i say this uh it's tuning into the 
the low vibration of being in physical form, because that's a low vibration. We have to bring our vibrations down in order to our incarnate so that we are in the same vibrational field as the physical reality. And so what you're becoming aware of is the vibration that's there all the time that is our physical form. And it it pulls you up as you're pulling up and out. It's making you more aware of that vibration. And that's why you're feeling it in that moment. And the violent jolt or shock, I think is, is simply your awareness kicking in and going, oh crap, I'm out of my body, Thunk, right? Uh, when you think about, uh, or even if your conscious, your unconscious mind thinks about being back in your body, you'll often get that jolt and that snap and that whoop, and, and it feels, sometimes you'll even feel the bed go down as you hit, because it's your spirit hitting your body hard and boom, you know, it, it vibrates into the bed. Um, and so that's the case. And, and when you've said that you start to relax all your muscles until you're tingling, uh, that is actually uh, when you are feeling that vibration and then you're relaxing into it. It's you letting go of the physical body. And uh, that's the process is relaxing into it and allowing your because the, any tension in your energetic field is a holding on. It's a control mechanism, right? It's a, it's a trying to, you know, control it. I don't know how else to say that. So when you relax into it, the relaxing allows you to let go of the control, which allows you to leave your body, right? So I hope this answers your question. I think that, uh, that, that it probably does. And let me check the time. Nope, we're at seven minutes. <laughs> or, well, probably, probably less than that, but we're at our limit for a mini. So I will answer another question in the next one. Uh, make sure you join my mailing list by going to kellysparta.com. Uh, I have a new book out. And so, you know, there'll be a link to that in the bio section or in the description here as well as a link to the website where you can join the mailing list and find out more about anything new that's coming out. I hope this is helpful and we'll see you next time.